Hey, this is Principal Bob. Welcome back to my channel, The Electric Principal. I stopped in today at the Electrify America here to try out some of the new chargers. Uh, and these are all level three chargers. And I'm right next to a hyper fast 350 kilowatt charger, which my car really can't use anyway, because the best it can do is 130 kilowatts. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, when we're talking about charging, just remember level three is the biggest pipe we can put into a car. And uh, level one is the smallest little spigot. Level two, you know, that's going to get you about 30 miles per hour. This thing is going to get you close to 400 and some miles per hour of fuel per hour when it first starts charging. Now, just remember that when we talk about charging, if your battery's low and it's warm, it'll charge really quickly. If your battery's cold or it's close to full, it's going to slow way down. So to get the most optimal charging level uh, uh, when you're on the road, have your battery warm, drive 120 miles. That's the best way to do it, right? The battery's super hot. Pull into an Electrify America, plug in, be down to about 10%, and you're going to get the maximum capacity that your car can take. You know, I met a guy in Iowa last year. It was about 28 degrees out outside of Iowa City, and he was complaining that he was only getting about 50 kilowatts of charging in his ID4, and he didn't understand why. Well, that's because the folks at the dealership didn't explain to him that a coal battery is not a happy battery. A warm battery works a lot better. And I'm sure if I ran into this guy today, he would tell me that, hey, in the summertime, things worked a whole lot better. So let's talk about how to use Electrify America here. I'm gonna kind of show you today a foolproof method of connecting. Now we all know that Electrify America has been talking about kind of a plug and play where all you have to do is plug it in. The machine will recognize the uh, VIN number of your car and it'll start pouring in electricity. And you know, VW says that's right around the corner, but I've been hearing that's been right around the corner for about two years now. So uh, sometimes I get a call from a customer and they're having problems charging. And so I take them through this foolproof method of level three charging in Electrify America that's going to get you pretty good results and rarely fails. So that's what we're going to do today. So this is one of the newest chargers in the Electrify America arsenal. And just to show you, uh, they've made some improvements. A simple thing like telling you this is Charger 3 uh, is a vast improvement uh, because it used to be up here. And if you want a foolproof method of charging, you definitely want that uh, to know the number of the charger so that when you use your app, you're plugging into the right charger. So here we are, folks, at the Electrify America station uh, in Loveland at Target, which is a good place to stop. Uh, that's one of my favorite stops at Electrify America is Target stores. And uh, I've got it right here on the map. I'm just going to push the Target store here to get into that. Uh, and I'm going to click on that. And what it's going to tell me is here I am at Target in uh, the uh, Target store T1178 in Loveland, Colorado. And now that I've clicked in, I can scroll up and it's going to show me the chargers. And right now we are going to use Charger 3. We know that's the one that we are at. And so what I'm doing right now is presetting this. Before I plug my car in, I'm simply going to use the app to get to the right station. Click on that. It's telling me it's available. And then you're going to notice at the very bottom, once I plug the car in, I can swipe to start charging. So here's the process I use. I don't do this until uh, I'm plugged in the car, it's ready to go, I only let a second or two go by, and then I slide that, and it works almost every time. I've rarely ever had a failure. I've driven cars from uh, Fort Collins to Madison, Wisconsin, to Portland, Oregon, to uh, you name it, and uh, including Texas, and this method has not failed me yet. So until we get the plug and play, uh, the long promise plug and play, this is the method that I really recommend. So let's go back out of the car now and we'll, uh, we'll get it hooked up and see if we get this baby charging. So folks, at this point, I have got my app all set up. 
I'm ready to swipe it across. So now all I really need to do is plug the car in and then walk over and we'll see how the charging works. So uh, let's get this rolling. No further ado. So I'm gonna take this huge plug, heavy duty, actually has its own cooling system built into it. And it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a beast. You know, you gotta put it in the right position. I'm twisting it with my right hand here a little bit, locking it in. I'm ready to go. I am now gonna swipe and we're gonna take a look and see what's happening. So it's initiating charging and connecting to vehicle. So we're, it looks like we're gonna have success. What I really need is a green light here. When I get a green light on my ID4 right here, I am in good shape. If I get a red light, that means we failed. Uh, and if I do it again and it failed, I would just move to a different charger. It does happen once in a while where I have to do that. Uh, but right now it looks like welcome Robert. So it's plugged into the system and uh, we should be getting a green light here. It does take a little while for it to communicate green light. Green light means go, good things are happening. And uh, we are now charging this beast. So no right folks, uh, so right now folks, I've moved back in the car and you're getting some information. Uh, because the battery's cold, it's only charging at 50 kilowatts. Uh, in the VW world, when we first had the uh, 21s and, uh, and the old software, it just tells you the miles per hour. How fast is it pouring electricity into the spigot? At this rate, I would be pouring in 188 miles per hour. Now, if this battery were hot and I came in at 20%, folks, we would, we would be in over 400 miles per hour worth of fuel coming in. And right now we're at a state of charge of 49%, uh, and we're just cooking right along. I have 132 miles worth of fuel in this car. And at this rate, I would end it at 310. Uh, and that's why we only charge to 80%, because if you go to 100, that's really gonna go up. But you can see right now, I've got five kilowatts that have gone into the car. And you know, instead of my charging speed slowing down, it's speeding up, well, how can that be? You know, I'm starting to charge at a faster, uh, higher rate because it's the battery's warming up. That's the reason why. It's at 53%, but as I put energy into this battery, it's warming up. And as it warms up, it gets more efficient. So in six minutes time, we've all actually increased our charging speed. That reflection of an increased charging speed is appearing right here on my indoor screen here in the car itself. Uh, right now you can see I'm up to 192 miles per hour. And what I'm gonna do though is drop this back down to 80%. All right, so we dropped that, now we're back down to 20 minutes uh, worth of time. And uh, you know, what's gonna happen is for a while, it's going to increase. Now normally, at 60 or 70 percent, I'm still at 60 or 70 kilowatts uh, of charging speed. Uh, and remember, we want to simplify this. We don't want to make too big a deal of this, but for every kilowatt, you get about three miles of fuel. On a warmer day like today, right now, it's you know in the 60s. It's going to be even better than that. Uh, but you know, right now, I try to shoot for three uh, miles per kilowatt as the average that I'm going to get. Uh, when I'm driving and so I try to convert everything to that you know I don't try to talk uh, speed very much I'm the only reason I'm talking about this because I'm electrify America which is a super fast charging network but basically you're going to get three miles per kilowatt out of your car if everything is working just fine and dandy this is a typical electrify America uh, station located at the target store and uh, I'm just going to give you some general tips for a minute about charging when you're on the road uh, number one tip that I give people on the road is, is get that car rolling, get that car warm, get that battery after you've uh, driven in a ways like 120 miles, as warm as it can get. I drive pretty quick. I drive the speed limit, eh, maybe a little over sometimes. Because what I'm really trying to do is get as much energy out as I can and warm that battery up. That's really my goal. Um, and, you know, when I'm traveling to a hotel, I will look for a hotel that has free charging. Uh, because why not? That's the best way to charge it. You plug in, you let it charge overnight. Um, it's all good. Um, but if I don't have a hotel with a charger, then what I'm going to do is instead of going out to dinner, instead of going to the hotel, instead of doing that kind of stuff, the first thing I'm going to do is go find an Electrify America or another high-speed charger and plug in. 
because that's going to make the best use of my time. While that battery's warm, I'm going to fill it up to 80%, then I'm going to unplug and go to dinner because in the morning then, I'm ready to go. I just get up, get in the car, and drive to the next EA station. Uh, and this is kind of how you do it. Now, to be honest, um, if people tell you that driving an electric car across country is just as fast as a gas car, that's just not true. Uh, it does take longer. Um, it does take a while to, to get from place to place. Um, but I am uh, 63 years old and I don't mind stopping every 160 miles and taking 20, 25 minutes at the most to charge a car. I really don't mind doing that at all. It's actually a safe thing for me to do. And besides, at this point in my car, you know, I've only had it for about eight months. It's free. You know, it's free to do it. It's worth my time to do that. Uh, and it slows things down a little bit. And to be honest, I meet a lot of awful nice people. Uh, and many times what I'm doing is I'm helping them uh, at the charge station. Up oh, here comes an Ionic 5. They're, they're going to pull into charge here. And so uh, I'm going to get out of their way here. <laughs> At a pretty quick rate uh, when it first starts out and so she's backing up and uh, uh, the both the fast chargers are uh, taken right now there's a third one here but she really needs a fast charger I could park mine next to a charger um, that would uh, really slow down and use a lot less energy uh, than a than a, a fast charger uh, Go and, right ahead I actually if you don't mind I'm using a little footage of your car backing up because I talked about how fast your car charges and that people shouldn't hog these fast chargers when they've got a car like mine that charges slower. 150 would be just fine. You actually can use a 350. It's that good a car. So right now I've hopped back in my car. You'll notice there's only five minutes left, but you know what? What's nice about VW products is when they start a charger, they start a charger. Now I'm almost to 73% my charging speed has not slowed down one iota. I am at 188 miles per hour right now, which is pretty darn quick. So now I've charged for 24 minutes. I've got 22.4 uh, kilowatts worth of energy in here. Uh, I'm at 75%, uh, and we're still cruising along here at a pretty decent clip. Uh, and we're almost done now. I'm gonna end the charging pretty quickly because I really don't need to charge right now. I'm just doing this for demo purposes. And that's just to point out that I would have probably quit charging a long time ago. I've got quite a bit of range right now on this car, enough that I could have gotten this car from here to the next EA station uh, without any bother at all, especially if I'm heading south towards Denver from Fort Collins, where there's, there's no less than 30 stations down there. Uh, but that's how you run it. You know, you run it so that you get just enough fuel in here that it's going to get you where you need to go. Don't waste another minute charging uh, unless you got you know, your Diet Coke to sip or your latte, uh, and away we go. Now, uh, just a reminder here at EA, uh, once we're done charging, we got 10 minutes to get back to the car. If you don't get back in time, it's going to be around 42 cents a minute. They're going to charge you for your latte fee for, for doing that because we want to keep the chargers clear, and that's one of the etiquette things we're talking about. Don't sit there and hog a charger uh, when you're done, even when if you're paying the latte fee. It's more important to keep these chargers open there's more VWs and Onyx 5s and you name it on the road right now than ever before. Uh, and, you know, Tesla, watch your back. Uh, because, you know, I've been here a few minutes now. There's three cars charging uh, at four stations. And you know what? Uh, the electric revolution is begun. So uh, once we're done charging, I put stop charging on the uh, meter. All of a sudden, my light turns white. And uh, let's see how this is going to work. This out and unplug it if I had any issues at all. I would just click the, uh, I would just click the, uh, uh, my unlock button on my key three times, and uh, we'd be ready to go. So wait a second, we got that in there nice and tight. We're going to look at what the chart. Right now, it's telling me that uh, I charge for 26 minutes, 23 kilowatts. Uh, my grace period hasn't even started because I quit beforehand, and it will tell me what the bill's going to be. But the nice part about that is, is there is no bill. I haven't got a bill for three years because I drive a Volkswagen. And when you drive a Volkswagen, you're not going to get a bill for three years unless you go over 30 minutes. And I've only done that one time. So, hey, happy traveling. Happy Electrify America. Up our charging session here. Uh, you know, it wasn't hard to do. There were no hiccups. 
I've watched uh, three other vehicles charge during this time, uh, including that Ionic 5 that was there. Uh, nobody had a problem with these chargers. I think the new chargers are great. I think that you're going to find them vastly improved, and I hope you make good use of them in the future. So there's nothing left for me to do except put the cap back on the electrical uh, charger over the uh, DC port, shut the box, and it's time to head home. Hey, once again, thanks for joining me at the Electric Principle. I really appreciate your time. Uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is really a new venture for me. I'm putting 32 years of education to work here uh, in the hopes that I'm going to reach a larger audience and spread the gospel of electric. This is the Electric Principal, Bob Flaherty, saying have a great day.